Okay, here we are uh, again. This time we're in the, my house for another quick and dirty video on the uh, Novation Launchpad Pro Mark III. And in the last video I said I was going to show you guys how easy this is to just connect uh, to your phone and, uh, and just just sit on the couch and do whatever. So here I am. I'm in my very messy bedroom studio here. Got the launch pad. The way this is currently hooked up, <clears throat> it's running into my phone through a camera connector kit, right? So this is an iPhone, but I'd imagine there's something equivalent for Android or whatever your uh, solution is. But basically phone into connector kit, uh, USB driving the launch pad. So the launch pad will happily take power, even, you know, fully, fully lit up. Uh, sometimes you worry, you know, what will the draw be when all the LEDs are lit and when the brain's running in the sequencer and things like that. Processors take more power, but uh, it seems to run fine. I'm running it into my phone right here that you can use audio bus or I'm just running a uh, Quark gadget too, which is a nice little multi temporal synth. You can set up four tracks on it, um, assign each one a MIDI channel one through four, which I've done uh, on the launch pad as well. Each of the tracks on the, uh, on the launch pad sequencer are MIDI channels one through four. Uh, you can look at my previous video linked in the corner on how to do that. Um, and then the entire things, uh, can run off the phone, but I hooked it up to this um, Honkin Anchor power bank, and this thing runs uh, for over 10 hours. So I should be able to get 12 to 14 hours of power off of this. Uh, and as far as audio um, out, it, you can, uh, the camera kit, if you buy one that's got an audio jack, you could just run, you know, like your regular headphones into it. Or if you've got, say, one of these, um, that doesn't have audio, it's just got power and USB. Um, it works perfectly fine with like Bluetooth uh, headphones as well. The latency is not so great as far as if you're going to play live, um, you know, um, not, it's not great going through the Bluetooth headphones, but, um, you know, just playing out uh, using the phone speakers is fine for now, but you, if you've got a, a, a uh, if you've got an adapter with audio, just run your main wired headphones off of it or run that out into your PA or house mixer, whatever you're going to do when you're performing. Um, but I can literally sit on the couch with this thing and my phone um, if I'm going to be there a while with a battery pack. And you can get one smaller than that. That's a bit, a bit excessive, but, um, and it works great, right? And as far as like, uh, uh, let's go to the sequencer here, All right? And you can just... Right, it's, you're getting really tinny because it's coming out of my phone speaker right now, but uh, you can totally. Right, it works perfectly fine. So knock yourselves out. I highly recommend picking up one of these. It's a great solution. Um, I'm a big fan of the Ableton Push and Push 2, um, but for travel purposes or just for messing around on the couch, this works great. Take this in my phone and a battery, Wherever I go, I can write music, get my sequences in here, bring it home, connect it back up to the Nord in the other video or up to Ableton or whatever. Um, check it out. It works great. Have fun.